All right, boys. Welcome back to another video. Today we got something very important to talk about. You have seen the title. We're talking about how global can actually make the ReZero banner a little better. Yes, there's going to be a few comments saying, bro, it's never going to actually happen. But I do have some news for you guys. I'm going to tell you guys about a lot of things. And, you know, some of these things might actually happen to make the ReZero banner way better for us. On this video, I'm going to need you guys to crack 300 likes. I've made a bet with someone. If we crack 300 likes, I can actually do something. So please smack that like button on this one. Also, if you guys don't know already, I have been talking about a new anime channel that I have made. If you guys would like to go and sub to it, we're going to be talking about anime news and a lot of things like that. Link is in the description, and I will pin a comment with a link. If you'd like to go sub to it, it will mean a lot to me. We're almost there uh, to a big you know, milestone there. If you want to go and sub to it, it will help me out a ton. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And again, leave a like. With no other delay, let's jump straight in this video and let's talk about what we got here today. So first of all, for everyone asking me in the comments, when is ReZero, when is ReZero? It is currently rumored that we will receive ReZero next week. Right now, we have no idea if that is the actual case. It could be that ReZero is, you know, pushed back two more weeks and we might get a different banner in the upcoming, you know, following week. We will have a guaranteed answer this Friday, so make sure you guys do stay tuned to that. Have notifications on so that I can alert you right as it drops. But again, as you've seen by the title, Global Buffing the ReZero Banner, here is one thing, and I will show you on screen, there is something very well they could do. So here we go. For all of you guys that don't already know what the ReZero Banner on JP looks like, it is in fact Amelia, Rem, Ram, Beatrice at a 0.25 rate. They also have Eskner, Hauser, Jericho, Merlin, Gother, Old Fart King, Fairy King, Bon, Elizabeth, and Captain Meliodas. Recently, I did make a video where I talked about Hawk and Oslo and how it could be our next upcoming banner because it was a banner on JP. Now, I sat there and I was talking with some people and I actually came to the conclusion about something and I think I have a really good idea of what could happen. If Rezero really is next and Netmarble doesn't split up the Hawk and Oslo banner, yes, the counter argument to everything I say is because Hawk and Oslo already returned to Global or was on Global originally. I have a feeling though, they might merge the Hawk and Oslo banner kind of with the ReZero banner over here on Global. We could have a ticket that guarantees you Hawk and Oslo just like we had that Gother ticket, right? If you watched that video, I showed you two tickets. There was the Ludo ticket that was in the files on Global, and then there was the Hawk and Oslo ticket. Hawk and Oslo fell under the 47th ticket, correct? If you saw that screenshot, I showed it to you over there. If I could find it, I'll put it on screen right now. On uh, that also, on that ticket or below that ticket, there was Ludo. Ludo was on 50, right? We're missing, surprisingly enough, right? Weird coincidence, I think not, whatever. 48 and 49 are missing. Now, it's not missing. I feel like it's encrypted. What are the two tickets that could be? Amelia, right? And then it could be the guaranteed Amelia ticket. There is a small chance, right? This is just in my head, but it works. Hawk and Oslo might be on this banner and they, you know, merge a few of those units onto this banner. Why would they do that? You might be asking. They'll make this a must summon for global. JP had their time to save for this, correct? Most people on Global are talking about skipping this. If you've seen my comments, there are a lot of people skipping this, actually. Given it's a collaboration, I expected at least 70% of players to summon for it. And right now, it's actually 40-60. 60% of the player base is actually skipping this for Zeldras. I was shocked when I read it because I was doing polls. I've been talking to people. And after at least taking in 300, 400 votes, it's majority of people saving for a different banner. Now again, all of this could mean nothing, but here is the actual fact that I have for you guys. And this is probably why you clicked on this video. We're talking about how JP on this banner received a compensation because of a sort of quote unquote bug. The bug actually affected a few people only, right? Let's say there's 100,000 players. It barely affected 0.001% of those players. The bug was apparently of people exploiting it or right now it's again, no one knows the exact thing. It was poorly stated on what happened with the bug. Apparently it was people abusing the system or it was the fact that people didn't get an SSR at the 300 gem thing. So what Netmarble on JP did was they provided every single person that went to a 600 rotation, they provided them a 100 gem compensation. Hopefully Global does something similar like this, but here is why I think they will. JP literally enticed the entire player base to continue summoning on the resort banner. You can look everywhere on Twitter, people that had the gems went an extra one or two rotations just for that 100 gem return on it. So let's say they went three rotations. What did they get back? 300 gems. That is the equivalent of going 500 gems 
of a rotation on this banner. And if you were to use that 30 tickets on your first rotation, you would have only spent 470 gems and you would have went a full rotation, possibly receiving everything you wanted. So yes, it would be kind of fair because again, think of it now, 0 0.000, probably more zeros, uh, 1% of people were affected by this bug, but the entire player base got a compensation for it. I know Global never does compensation stuff for us, okay? We got a one SSR pen in compensation, but there might be a very good chance that we do in fact see this over here on Global. Let me tell you now, there is multiple reasons this will happen. First of all, again, I could be punching it air. This is pure speculation, but there's a lot of weight to my claim. And I have one more point to this entire thing. This is not yet confirmed. Hopefully the comments can break this down for me and help me out with this one claim. While I was doing my research for this entire video, I did come across people talking about this originally as it was a Korea only thing. Later down the line, it was given to JP2, but apparently, this is apparently, the bug was only on Korea's game. Again, this has not been fully confirmed. I'm currently thinking that because when I was going through like the series or the thread, it was first stated as a Korea only. Then later down the line, like I think a few hours, like a solid eight or so hours, JP also received the entire compensation. Now, again, I want you to make sure you take this with a grain of salt because this is the thing that could kind of guarantee global getting it. Once I have it confirmed, I will pin a comment and let you guys know if that has been checked. Think of it now from a global whale perspective. People would go two rotations on this and be happy. If they saw that they're going to get a 100 gem return every time they go 600 in, that means they're going 500 per rotation. Most whales will go and continue till they 6-6 their units. Do you know how much 100 gems cost to a whale, right? Sure, you can say, yo, whales have so much money, it doesn't matter to them. But that 100 gems will matter to them. Look at it from the dolphin's perspective. I even, on JP, I was like, yo, Jazzy, maybe I should go another rotation to get that extra 100 back. I could try and 6-6 one of the units. It mainly forces some people to do it because it just, it's like too good to be true. Now that is again, all up to global. Global Netmarble has to decide what they want to do with it. Sure, they haven't been handling the game that well. So uh, we will see. I would be very, very happy to see that. Every free to play player would be very happy to see that. It would be something cool to, you know, say, okay, yes, we haven't given you content. We have been doing this to you. Here is a little bit of a freebie on the ReZero banner to help you save because you know, we do get a few banners back to back. I know I'm not gonna talk about that because I've dedicated my last like, or two or one video ago for two videos. So I've already dedicated two videos on talking about this entire topic. And this Thursday, I will practically dedicate another topic to that because we're gonna get the dev notes and I'm gonna cover it for you guys as soon as it drops. So again, to sum up everything I said in this video, we could either A, see the uh, Hawk and Oslo banner kind of get consolidated onto this one we could just see hawk and oslo replace a unit we could just see them add a few other unknown race units onto this from the hawk and oslo banner to make it a little bit better and to sell those hawk and oslo tickets and maybe to drop that gother bundle if you guys aren't aware already the gother bundle hasn't dropped a global and we are still waiting for that it might be a time to do it again with the collaboration we might not see that gother bundle but the rest of it does kind of make sense and even if that first one doesn't make sense to you the second part is literally what JP did. They did return 100 gems to every player that summoned. So maybe Global will take that for us too. Because again, it really didn't affect that many players on JP. Like, let's be honest here. It barely affected anyone. And, you know, it would be nice. Global, you know, you could do something here in Marvel. I know. I know some people say I'm asking for too much at this point. But hey, it would be really cool to see. JP got it. It would be cool if we got it. Yes, there is always the counter argument. JP is their own game. It has nothing to do with global. Whatever you want to say about it, I just feel like, yo, it could work. It would be cool. And it might actually happen. I want to know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you guys think this is a possibility? Do you guys think, no, we're just going to have to go R600. It'll be just like that for us. No uh, 100 gem compensation. No consolidation of banners. It's just, you go for it. You go for it. That's it. Still, though, we will have a confirmation this Friday if ReZero is our next banner on Global. Hope you guys are ready for that. Make sure to, again, have that notification bell ticked. Make sure to be subscribed. Make sure to leave a like. It all helps out massively. Once again, if you would like to sub to my anime channel now, it is linked in the description. It will help me out a ton. It's also a pinned comment. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And again, thank you so, so much for all of the support you guys have been showing the channel. Peace out, everyone, and enjoy. Later!